Hello! To install the XDM server and the utilities, you will use the Mentor install program. Mentor Graphics only supports the System Utilities Toolbox and the XDM server on 64-bit Windows and Linux. You will find these choices on the Mentor Graphics 64-bit installation media. This is the Mentor install program. As you navigate along the install tree, you can see that the XDM server-based applications are all grouped under a separate category. The installer is wise enough to help you select all dependent items. If you select the XDM design services to be installed, the installer automatically selects the XDM server and the system utilities toolbox because it is dependent on those two items. The client-based applications are found under Expedition Enterprise Desktop Apps Data Management, such as XDM Design and XDM Library. There is no dependency between client and server installation. For advanced users, the Mentor Install program supports batch install if you are interested in automating the install process. This batch install can be further updated to also automatically configure the XDM server and to deploy the server without user interaction. Here, you can see a typical install directory that has the Mentor Installer itself and the home directory for EEVX 1.1. Inside, you will find the SDD home directory and the SUT directory that contains all the utilities for the XDM server. Only after you deploy the XDM server will a new directory be created for the active server. This new directory is created externally to the install directory. During the installation process, few shortcut menus will be created. Under Expedition Enterprise VX1.1, open the System Utilities Toolbox and you will find shortcuts to the Configuration Manager Utility, the Diagnostic Dashboard Utility, the Utilities Console, and also to the Utilities User's Guide. You should first run the Configuration Manager Utility. This utility is your editor for the configuration of the XDM server. All of the XDM server configuration options are available for you. You can modify values, get immediate feedback, as well as embedded help, and also test the configuration. Let's save those pending configurations so that those will be used during the deployment process. From the server actions bar, you can launch the deployment of the XDM server, and also click to view more details about the deployment process. The other shortcut was for the Diagnostic Dashboard. Once you have the XDM server deployed, you will want to run the dashboard utility in order to monitor and manage the XDM server. We have created dedicated training videos to learn more about the Configuration Manager and the Diagnostics Dashboard. Some users might still want to use the command line utilities instead of the configuration manager. This next section is mainly for them. If you want to deploy the XDM server using the default configuration, left side of the diagram, nothing should stop you from running the server deploy utility immediately after the installation completed. However, on the right, under customized configuration, you see the extra step that enables you to import an input XML that contains all the modification and the settings that you would like your XDM server to use. You will find samples of the XML input file under the documentation folder of the utilities. The config import utility should get a pre-configured XML file as an input. This XML input file should include all the customized configuration that you would like your XDM server to have. Therefore, you should first edit the XML, we will show you how to do it in the following videos, and then run the config import to import the new configuration, and server deploy utility to deploy the server and apply those settings. To conclude, there are three simple steps to configure the XDM server. Use Mentor Installer to install the XDM server, system utilities, and the products. 
You create a pending configuration by using the configuration manager or by importing an input XML file. And eventually, you deploy the XDM server, which will use all the pending configurations to set up the XDM server. To conclude, there are three simple steps to configure the XDM server. One, you use Mentor Installer to install XDM server, system utilities, and the products. Two, you import an input XML. You can reiterate the import with several files, and each time it will update a pending configuration database. In a similar way, you can use the Configuration Manager to modify the same pending configuration. Three, eventually you deploy the XDM server, which will use all the pending configuration to set up the XDM server.